Hey, gorgeous soul, welcome to Weekly Astrology. And this week, woo, the vibes are high. We've got a full moon in lovely Leo, making us feeling creative and inspired and bright and passionate about life. We've also got Venus, the planet of love, and Pluto, the lord of transformation, coming together. It's a passionate time and a lovely Sun and Jupiter conjunction, making us feel hope and have possibility soaring in our heart. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey, fabulous Scorpio. This week highlights the energy that's going to be around you, certainly for the whole of this year. And a lot of that energy is connected to your home and family, self-nurturing, how you care for yourself, how others care for you, how you care for others. And you're really working on that because hopefully you've had this revelation, which is that when you feel nurtured, when you have a safe space, that's when you can grow and that's when you can do all the things that you want to do. Anyway, before we get to that, let's start off with what's going on in order. The sun, which is all about your confidence and your driving force, is squaring Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable. There is some shift and change in energy around your home and family, and potentially to do with a partner or a business partnership or, or a one-to-one -one friendship to do with either living together or making decisions around your home. Or somebody, you're changing your view about whether they are family or not, or even they suddenly start to feel like family. But that is the key word. You cannot escape it this week. You know, nurturing and family and, and pulling things together. Because we've also got the Sun and Jupiter, which is a fabulous uh, cosmic happening in your home and family zone. So expect some good news, a shift of energy, an opportunity, a surprise in that area. Now, the full moon is in your career zone. Now, what are full moons? They bring all of our feelings up from our unconscious. They bring us to a peak energetic experience. So there's something going on for you. I mean, it could be really good news, potentially. You could reach a, a, a peak or using your intuition, suddenly see a way forward when it comes to your career, your reputation, your standing, who you feel you are as a solid human in the world but this full moon is also opposing jupiter so funnily enough it's also connected to your home and family do you have the support that you need are you going to work with a family member is are you working from home and suddenly you have a breakthrough in thinking when it comes to your career it, there's some magic in the air connected to that now in other news venus uh, the planet of love is joining forces with Pluto, your ruler, to deliver a powerful piece of information. Either you are going to speak truthful, powerful words or somebody will say something to you which creates a massive shift connected to presumably what you love in the world, your relationships, um, even abundance because Venus is the planet of abundance as well as love. But whatever this big explosive Pluto energy is, you are delivered powerful news that changes everything or you deliver powerful news that changes everything. With the Sun conjunct Jupiter, I can only think that this week has a pleasant, enjoyable, exhilarating vibe for you. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it won't be anything negative. It feels to me as if it's going to be positive, but do let me know in the comments below. Of course, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, going retrograde, going backwards. So there is sort of a lot of confusion coming up potentially but also you may be thinking about the past when it comes to your home and family as well but you know make sure that everything that around your home and anything you're organizing that you really focus on it with mercury going retrograde on the 30th anyway i send you so much love you take care gorgeous and I purpose of a reading i feel is very much to inspire people and to empower people it's about hope it's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like three-way conversations. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? 
I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.